this is me Osama Gaza welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll be discussing how to create this cool um, camera tracking effect as we watch in um, Netflix show 13 reasons why it's pretty easy by the way it's not what it looks like uh, it just needs a few fixes and you know um, camera movements so yeah let's jump in and see how we can do this all right guys so before we start just letting you know that in this tutorial I'll be just focusing on how to achieve this uh, effect um, so what I'm assuming here that before watching this video you have to be familiar with um, the camera tracking uh, technique in Adobe After Effects and by the way there is no way to achieve this in Adobe Premiere Pro at least for now there is no tool built-in tool in Adobe Premiere Pro to do it so that's why we have to uh, try it in Adobe After Effects okay so uh, first of all um, you have to drag your video in a new composition as I'm having here then go to window if you don't have the tracker window open here go to window up in the toolbar and make sure that you're checking the, um, the tracker on all right so now go to track camera and hit it and let it do the work all right so after a few seconds you should have these dots on the screen as you guys see here and uh, what that basically does is the way Adobe After Effects uses to assign the areas or the perspective areas and plane that you can use to add a text or add a new composition or add a new clip I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use this uh, red circle target in order to assign whatever element you want alright so first of all I'm gonna be um, let's say assigning this perspective plane here I'm gonna be right click and create a solid then go to another area right click create a solid and basically keep doing that uh, depending on how many Polaroids or pictures you want to add to your scene all right now the following step will be actually converting all these uh, new solid we created to pre-composed layers so I'm gonna be right clicking each one of them and pre-compose and don't change the leave all attributes don't change that to move all attributes because if you did so it will disappear for some reason all right so hit ok go to each one of them basically and pre-compose them like so all right so the following step now is to add uh, the polaroids to the scene all right so i'm gonna go to where i have it drag it and drop it into my project panel here and now this is really cool this is actually we're gonna have fun guys so I'm gonna be starting with the first layer here the first one we pre-composed double click it drag my Polaroid in drag it up then delete this green color because basically we don't need it anymore go back to your scene and here it is you can definitely change um, the positioning by dragging these um, arrows like in whatever direction you want or you can even uh, hit S on your keyboard and minimize or maximize uh, your object. Right, go to the second one and pretty much do the same thing. All right, so now um, the final step here is to add pictures, actual pictures, or add um, um, like you know different scenes to these Polaroids in order to create the transitions between you know uh, the different scenes. So I'm going to be dragging my first, all right, so first of all, I'm going to be double clicking this uh, first composition and drag my first picture, like so, and we can scale it down just a little bit in order to make it fit within um, the frame here. So I'm going to be unchecking this locker and... I know guys this is not the right way to do it I'm just trying to uh, give you an idea on how this thing work then you can actually um, uh, do it properly with actual footage and scenes right save go back and this is the first one go to the second composition do pretty much the same thing with another photo scale it down like so or you can actually instead of just scaling it down what you can basically do is create a mask so you can do something like this and awesome and you can hold on right something like 
that and drag it below my Polaroid like so. Hit save. Third one. Your picture. And just get it done above that and then create a mask like so. And drag it down. Right, let's play and see our video. Yeah, that's pretty much everything about it. You can do the same thing with um, the rest of the compositions we created, guys. All right, guys, so um, last thing I would like to say, you guys are more interested in knowing how to come up with this effect from scratch, how to move the camera, basically how to create the scene before going to post-production. I will leave the link to cinecom.net down in the description. Um, they are awesome. They actually explained everything about this uh, transition or this effect in details, uh, starting from how to hold your camera, how to create the scene, until um, doing pretty much everything I did here in Adobe After Effects. So you can check them out, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my latest designs and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next time.